Some stuff takes time. Greatness takes time. It takes time. It takes time to build your brand. It takes time to build your life. It takes time to build your career. You got to be prepared to get a thousand no's to get one yes. But either you could dwell on it or you could take that hopelessness and say, I don't ever want to feel like this again and let it drive you and let it be that passion and let it be that hunger and let it be that intuition that you get to take advantage of every opportunity that you possibly can. When the path grows steep, the obstacles seem insurmountable and the world tells you to give up. Remember that greatness is achieved by those who refuse to quit. Keep pushing forward, for the journey may be tough, but the reward is immeasurable. What will it take for you when others are quitting because of the rejections, when others are stopping because they just become so discouraged and they have predators breathing down their neck and they have family members and friends telling them they're full? What is it that will allow you to have the mental resiliency to keep on keeping on, to keep your commitment to your commitment, the will to give it? You want to surround yourself with people that are hungry. People that are hungry and willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow, others won't have. People that are hungry do what they know, not what they fear. In the face of adversity, don't let the world dictate your limits. Break through the barriers, defy the odds, and show the world the power of perseverance. When you feel like giving up, remind yourself that your dreams are worth fighting for. Friends, don't even start. If you are going to try, go all the way. This could mean losing your friends, wives, relatives, jobs, and maybe your mind. Go all the way. Despite rejection and the worst odds, and it will be better than anything else you can imagine. The world is at the palm of your hands, and it all depends on what you're doing with it. So I tell people, if you don't know where you're from, you don't know where you're going. And if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. Quitting may provide temporary relief, but it will never bring lasting satisfaction. True fulfillment comes from pushing past your limits, surpassing your own expectations, and proving to yourself that you are capable of achieving greatness. Embrace the challenges, for they are the stepping stones to your success. And so hold on when there is nothing in you, except the will, he says to them. Hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 40 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. Don't be disheartened by temporary setbacks or failures. They are not indicators of your worth or potential. They are merely lessons on the path to success. Stay committed to your dreams. For it is in the darkest moments that the light of triumph shines the brightest. I didn't make it through high school. I went to about 25 different schools, lived in a lot of neighborhoods, good, bad, the worst, you name it. When I was in, in, in first grade, I lived in a neighborhood called North Miami. And in North Miami, I would go to school and the kids would make fun of my nose. They were like, Armando, you got a clown nose, Armando. When the world tells you that you can't, let that be the fuel that propels you forward. Don't let doubt or negativity deter you from your purpose. Believe in your abilities, trust in your vision, and have faith that your persistence will lead you to the life you've always dreamed of. I started working when I was five years old at a flea market on Northwest 7th Street and 37th Ave. And from there, you know, I parked cars at six years old. I, I cleaned bird cages at seven. I sold everything with my mom. My mom sold everything, you name it. So I would knock on doors with her and I learned what, what that rejection felt like. But the rejection, again, became gasoline to the fire. And all of that taught me how to appreciate hard work and opportunities. And that's what I learned from growing up, being there in those situations and just appreciating anything you got your hands on, whether it was a piece of food, a place to stay, the lessons from my youth that were very important to my success. Remember, when you're growing up in a certain environment, you can easily become a product of that environment. 
my environment was either playing sports, selling dope, or you're going to prison and dying. It's that really that simple. That's the multiple choice, you know, A, B, C, D, that, that's it. What I learned from that is I got a chance to see what I didn't want out of life. Remember that every great accomplishment in history was once deemed impossible. The world is full of naysayers and skeptics, but it is the courageous few who refuse to quit that leave an indelible mark on the world. Be one of those few and prove the doubters wrong. And I would say thank you to my mom, I love you so much, but more than, than giving me love, she gave me survival skills. She taught me how no, no matter what, no problems, just solutions, so we always found a way to make it happen. And living in all these neighborhoods and going through the system, I just feel like the system was built to fail you instead of push you through. But these aren't things to, it's not to play victim, it's to play victor. This is what makes me victorious. This is what makes me who I am. Because you take all the negatives and you make them a positive. So to me, that's the biggest lessons that I learned growing up, was just watching that hustle, watching that struggle, watching that sacrifice, and feeling that sense of hopelessness that I never wanted to feel. So I learned how to deal with it, but I never wanted my kids to feel that. I never wanted the ones that I love to feel that. And I made a decision when I was about six years old. So my decision was, you know what I want in life? I want security, stability, and protection. Because the environment that I was living in, it was just unpredictable. At any given time, anything could happen. Success is not a destination, it's a journey. It's the culmination of countless moments of perseverance, resilience, and unwavering determination. Don't let temporary setbacks deter you from your path. Stay focused, stay motivated, and keep moving forward. And I always thought about that, and it stays in my mind. So anytime I feel a little iffy about something, I just think about them. Take that risk, man. Take that challenge. The road to success is paved with challenges, but it is in those challenges that we discover our true potential. Don't let fear of failure or the comfort of mediocrity hold you back. Embrace the unknown, step out of your comfort zone, and embrace the exhilarating journey of self-discovery. One of my best friends was Dominican. His name is Junior. And one day we were on our way, you know, we were in the neighborhood, and in the neighborhood they used to fight dogs. It just, it is what it is. It's a part of the culture. And we were on our way to a pit fight. Junior turns to me, he's like, that's his name. His name's Pitbull. You know, she got, got a little ring to it. I like that. Pitbull, pit, yeah, yeah. And then as I did my research on pit bulls, they're stereotyped dogs as people feel that they're very aggressive, but they're not. They are a part of their environment. If they're in an aggressive environment, they become aggressive dogs. And I saw a fight in a pit. When it bites, it locks, it doesn't let go. It fights to the death for what it believes in. So you apply that to the game, you apply that to my life, you apply it to everything that we've got going on. That's basically what it's become. And for life, I feel that it's always a fight. I don't understand the word lose. I don't understand the word can't. I don't understand the word fail. I understand the word learn. And when you work so hard to get to a certain level, you Google pit bull right now, I'll come up before the dog. I would say it's true, I'm, I'm the only legal pit bull in Bay County because they're already legal in Bay County. <laughs> and what I stand for is, I mean, I stand for the world, but anywhere I go in the world, I represent 305 Bay County, Miami to the fullest. If it wasn't for the city, I wouldn't be who I am. And that's what this pit fight for. I love the hustle, love the grind, love the fight. Why does it rejuvenate me? Because when you love it, they say when you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And to me, I love that. I don't like things handed to me, I like to earn it. If you earn your keep, it's fair for you to fight for it. It's about showing up, don't talk about it, be about it. And that's why when you hear me say, take your life from a negative to a positive, what's a story without ups and downs, valleys, peaks, losing? You know, you gotta lose, you gotta slip, you gotta fall. Everybody does. They're not mistakes, they're must takes. And you don't make mistakes, mistakes make you. So you gotta just take it on. Welcome it. Welcome it. Let it knock you on your ass. You can knock me down, but you won't knock me out. Nobody gets on a roller coaster that just goes straight. And life's a roller coaster, baby. You want it to go up and down and tear and twist and do all of that, because that's what makes it uh, worth living.